Hey finders, welcome back to Fortune Finds. Today's video is a little bit all over the place. I wanted to do a quick get ready with me. I feel like summer is just all about being outside and living in the moment and not spending too much time on your makeup. The least amount of time indoors, the better. You just wanna get on with your life. You wanna be ready, get ready, and not have to think about it. And that's kind of like the way that I have been living this summer thus far. I mean, I definitely do my makeup every single day, but I'm just, you know, reeling it in a little bit, like taking it back a few notches, making it simple, natural. I feel like a natural glam is always beautiful, especially in the summer. We all have tans, we can get away with it. So I wanted to do a pretty intimate video with you guys, kind of like vlog style here at our shore home. Get ready with you. I did a little bit of skincare. It's a little bit all over the place, but ultimately we get here. This is definitely a look that you can find me in every Saturday, especially in the summer. It's natural, it's pretty, it's luminous, and it's pretty much just focusing on a nice base and some nice skin with some pop of, you know, a little bit of sparkle on the eyes. I feel like summer, sparkle, dewy, glowy all go together. So without further ado, let's stop babbling and let's get on to my quick and easy summertime makeup tutorial. I look really naked. I really promise you I'm not. I should probably go put more clothes on. But I did just wash my face and I applied this awesome face mask. This is the Kiehl's Calendula and Aloe Soothing Hydration Mask. So I just put this on, you can see. It's a very gel-like consistency. It smells really nice. So I'm gonna leave this mask on for five minutes. All right, this is gonna get really interesting really fast because I don't have a mirror. This is the only mirror that I have. So bear with me, y'all. I'm sitting in front of a window so we get some natural lighting and I forgot to bring moisturizer. So this is gonna be fun. I need to moisturize my face because I do have really dry skin. So I'm gonna be using this Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion. This is trial size. Mike and I got this uh, last weekend when we went to my girlfriend Meg's wedding. We like didn't, well, I didn't pack like anything because we were in such a rush that like we had to stop at CVS and get stuff. So this is body and face moisturizer, so <sighs> slightly screaming inside. But this will just have to do because I need some moisturization. I need it, I need it. Y'all know I need an eye cream, so I'm gonna be using this travel size or trial size, Claudelie Energizing and Smoothing Eye Cream. I like to focus where the highlighter typically goes because highlighter is very not forgiving, very unforgiving. I think that's the word, right? You guys know, I don't know how to speak. Did you see my last video? Infallible, it's L'Oreal Infallible, guys. I know, I know what it is, I just can't say it. Yensa Tone Up Primer Essential Glow. I feel like it gives a really nice glow to the skin. I feel like it's a little hydrating as well and it's sticky, it has like that tacky feel. So I feel like it really grips onto my makeup. But I haven't worn this in like a long wear situation just because it's summer obviously right now and I feel like I don't wear my makeup for that long anymore. I'm usually doing my makeup last minute to like run out the door to then like go somewhere for a few hours and then wash it off and go to bed. I feel like that's just the vibe of summer. It's just like go, go, go. And plus, I don't like to wear makeup and like be in the sun. I look so naked. Lean you guys down a little bit. Okay, now you can see. Oh, better. Why didn't I set this angle up before? <laughs> Real infallible, because I know how to say it now. Up to 24 hour fresh wear foundation, sunscreen 25, SPF 25, very important to me. And I'm in the shade 440. I did do a wear test on this. Clearly it went pretty well considering I'm wearing the foundation. But these days you never know with me because I'm trying to be more like conscious about my money and how I spend it. So if I buy something, my ass is gonna find a way to figure out how to use it. But I do really enjoy this foundation. If you're interested in seeing the full day wear test, I will link it up here. Check that out after this video. If you just go in with one layer, it gives a nice light coverage, light to medium coverage. But if you want full coverage, I would do like four pumps of this because honestly, as runny as this is, I mean, if you saw that video, I'm just like regurgitating information into your mouth. So I do apologize, but you need like four pumps if you want like full, full coverage. I will do another pump. And I do want to bring this down my neck because I noticed in photos, this is a little too golden for my skin tone. I feel like the summer just like puts me in like that mood where it's like, I just wanna do all the things that make me look, I just hit myself in the esophagus. I just wanna do all the things that make me feel really excited to be alive, alive. <laughs> Doing my makeup is definitely one of them. 
feel like you need to be a little closer to my face though. So I'm gonna look even more naked now. I promise I'm not naked. God. Ardell Glam Touring Contour Stick. Follow the edge of your ear and draw down. I don't go like too far in. Edge of the ear and down. And then I look straight because I find that like I always do my contour like uneven. I always contour a little bit. Oh, I always contour a little bit of the nose. Looking good, looking good. And I never use the highlight side of this contour stick. I wish that Ardell would just come out with the contour side. The highlight side really doesn't do anything for me. And I just love how easy this blends out. Like it's so beautiful and affordable. It blends out like instantly. It's like really insane. Take your mirror and hold it in front of you to make sure that your face is symmetrical that it looks the same on both sides. You know, if one side's a little bit darker, you might wanna go back in with the contour stick. And when I do the nose contour, when I blend that out, I pinch my sponge like that. This way I can keep the contour a little bit more controlled. Oh, I look naked again, I'm not. Koki Be Bright Illuminating Concealer. I wanted to whip this bad boy out because I feel like I've been trying a lot of concealers lately and I've been comparing them to this one, but while using the new ones, I've been neglecting this one. So I wanna dip back into it to see if it's just as amazing as I remember it, if that makes any sense. But this is like a really light coverage, color correcting, cause it is kind of peachy. So it does counteract those dark circles or shadows underneath your eye. And I'm very dark like right in here. So I do like to put it there around my nose cause I do get red in between that contour we just drew down the nose and a little bit on my chin. It's not full coverage though. So if you are like a full coverage kind of betch, I don't think you're gonna like this concealer. Beauty sponge, blend, blend, blend. And like, see, I feel like it's a nice concealer, but you can definitely still see my bags a little bit. So if you have a lot of problems under there and you want something more full coverage, I don't recommend this concealer, but I like a little bit less coverage in the summertime. That's just kind of my jam. All right, I think I'm gonna go put clothes on. I look a little, I look like a lot. All right, I feel a little bit better. I got this cute little dress that Mike got me a while ago. It's like a cute cover up. Kat Von D contour palette over here, but I am gonna make sure that I stamped all those creases out. I'm gonna grab the first shade, which is like this peachy shade on my sponge and just stamp underneath my eyes and over my eyes. I do wanna bronze the face up a little bit, so I'm gonna take my BH Studio Pro contour palette and I'm gonna grab the lightest shade of the contours, I should say, this one right here. Not the white, that would technically be the whitest shade on a big fluffy brush. Just like stamp this out a little bit more. I wanna be a little bit more bronzed. I really do love this palette. This palette retails for less than $15. It's usually on sale for like 10 and you get 10 powders. So like, how awesome is that? I'm gonna go back into my Kat Von D. I'm gonna grab that yellow shade on my sponge, put that down my nose a little bit, just to highlight the bridge of my nose. I'm gonna put it where I'm gonna apply highlight underneath the eyes a little bit, just like brighten up the center of the face. This is the makeup that I leave at the Shore House. I have a lot of BH palettes. I have this blush one, and then obviously the contour one I was showing you guys, just because this is easy. I can just leave these here, and I have more than one option, and I'm the kind of person where I like to have variety. I wanna choose what blush I have on a daily basis. I don't wanna be committed to just one. All right, I went to go find my highlighter and brush my hair. I think we're gonna have to do our hair at the end of this video, because this is not cute, honey. We're not looking cute here. Mary Luminizer, this is by The Bomb. Highlighter. I'm gonna put some down the bridge of my nose. Yeah, okay. Oh, I got him itchy. Such a nice sparkle. Yeah. All right, you know, we're working with what we got. Oh yeah, that's so pretty. I feel like the base looks really good. The hair looks disgusting. Help. Let's move on to blush. I feel like I need a little bit more definition. I think I wanna grab this super light pink. I've been really into this shade for the summertime. I feel like it looks really nice with the tan. I just like a little pop of blush. Sometimes I wanna go hard and a little bit more intense, but today I'm feeling a little bit lighter. But these are really pigmented as you can see. And then I just take what's ever left over on this blush brush and just like 
blend it over the contours of my face. I don't know, I like this. Some people think I'm crazy. I kind of like contour with blush, but I feel like it makes your overall skin tone look flushed. So it looks a little bit more normal and less like you're wearing makeup. It gives you a really nice like glow. You know what I'm saying? I know you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna hop off camera and do my brows. I was really loving this mascara. It wasn't being really clumpy, but today out of all days when I sit down and film, it's a little clumpy. Hmm. Wander Beauty Wander S Seascape palette that I got in my Ipsy bag. I didn't pack any uh, eyeshadow brushes, so go me. Go Fortuna. I've talked crap about this before. I'm using it anyway because I, you know, spent my money on it. I don't recommend this. This is the L'Oreal, L'Oreal, hello. Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Rose Gold. This shows up like nothing on me and it's kind of like cakey looking. So if you have a liquid eyeshadow or like a cream shadow, that is a go-to. I just don't recommend this because it's expensive for what it is. I'm gonna bring you guys in a little bit closer. Taking the stick and I'm literally drawing it onto my eye. I really hope you guys can see, but there is like no pigment to this. Like this is like the shade of my skin tone. And I definitely don't have rose gold skin. So I don't know, but I'm just drawing it all over the lid and then stamping it out. I do like to use it to highlight the brow bone and then I'll stamp it. I think it gives a nice, like creamy, natural looking highlight. I hope you guys can see that. I'm losing light as we speak, so I'm trying to hustle here. I'm gonna go into the shade Champagne Harbor, which is this really pretty champagne shade on my finger, and I'm just gonna stamp this all over the lid. And now what that cream shadow is gonna do is it's really gonna grab on to this powder shadow. It's like gonna be an adhesive for it and make it really pop. Sea Foam, which is this greeny, shiny shade, the same finger, and I'm gonna stamp this down the center of my lid just to kind of give like somewhat of a halo effect. See, it's really pretty though. This palette is so pretty. Basically just drew a line up and down on my lid, not really going into the crease, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just stamp the rest of it all over for blending purposes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab the pink shade in here, also really pretty, sea salt. I'm gonna take it on my pinky, the inner corner of my eye. I'm just stamping. I mean, you can always use your fingers if you forget your tools, which is clearly what I'm doing, but it would be a little bit more precise and together if I had a brush. Il Maquillage High Volume and Intense Curl Mascara. I was like astonished that it, it's a new mascara, but it doesn't have like the new mascara clump to it. Like, you know when you get a new mascara and it's just too wet and there's too much on the bristles? But today, it went on a little clumpy. Can you see? It's a little clumpy on that eye. But it gives really nice length and it makes them spidery, which that's the kind of lash I like. All right, moving on to the lips. I'm gonna take the L'Oreal. The L'Oreal, why do I keep calling this L'Oreal? Damn it, Laura Mercier caviar stick and I'm just gonna draw it on top of my Cupid's bow. I like this stick for highlighting my face, not for eyeshadow. I don't, I like it for the detail. So love this on a Cupid's bow. That's mainly, honestly, what I use this for. And I could go down the nose a little bit and just blend it out. See, it just gives a nice glow. BH Cosmetics Waterproof Lip Liner in the shade Stripped. Like this really nice nude shade, nudish brown. Okay, so I kind of filled them in for the most part. Milano Lips Tinted Lip Balm, and this is in the shade Perfect Nude. I love this. This is like the perfect summer nude, honestly. I don't think I've ever like done makeup and hair in the same video, but here we are because this is not cute. <laughs> I'm gonna be using this for the first time. This is a first impressions. I'm a little worried this could go very wrong on us, but this is the Bumble and Bumble BB Thickening Dry Spun Texture Spray. Now it says to shake well, hold can 10 inches away from dry hair, and spray in even strokes where you want lift and airy texture. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna shake this. I think I want airy texture everywhere. I feel like I'm definitely doing this wrong. Let me go upside down. Do we have airy texture? Oh wow, okay. I feel like we definitely have a little airy texture. I don't know if I like this. I kind of look like a lion, but you know what? It's better than whatever shit I had going on 10 minutes ago. 
We're getting a little carried away now. Ooh. But this is, yeah, I could kind of, it kind of makes my hair feel a little dry. The smell is divine though. I feel like the hair definitely looks a lot better than it did 10 minutes ago. So I do just want to thank you guys for bearing with me in this video. I know it was a little bit all over the place. Can you hear all the birds chirping? Like it's just so happy here. I love it so much. I did enjoy making this video. I just enjoy being here and I feel very zen. So if you didn't mind this video or maybe you actually like this video, then please be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. Leave me some love in the comments. Let me know what do you think about today's look? Did you like this kind of video? Did you hate it? Anything you guys want to talk about, leave it down below. I love to just talk to you guys about anything and everything. If you are not yet subscribed, please be sure to do so. I would love to have you. And while you are hitting subscribe, be sure to click the bell button next to it. This way you get a notification every time a new video goes live on my YouTube channel. I had a great time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next one. Bye finders. Mwah.